Hello, Joao. Uh, could you introduce yourself, first of all? Okay, Labas. Uh, <laughs> my name is Joao. I'm 25 years old. Uh, started aviation in 2006. Ended up on aviation in 2009. Uh, after that, um, I graduated from college on aeronautical science. And after graduating, uh, three months ago, I decided to do uh, anything best for me. And I decided to make a type rating on the Airbus. And so here I am. So you changed your profession? Yeah, more or less, yes. Uh, my degree on aeronautical science was to to give me more experience in the aviation uh, part. Uh, my main goal is to be a pilot, not to be a scientist or whatever. So the main points that brought you to aviation world uh, would be? Uh, traveling for free, that's the best part. Uh, seeing the sun every day and knowing a lot of countries, new countries, it's, it's a great experience and I think that's the best part of it, yeah. So, was it your childhood dream to become a pilot? Yes, 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 yeah. Uh, since Top Gun. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, yeah, it is a, is a child dream, for sure. Uh, the first time I traveled, I was five months old. So, since ever, I remember traveling on airplanes and doing uh, traveling and swapping from country to country. That's, that's, I think that was the main part that made me decide to go to aviation. Uh, to become a pilot, yeah. I know you organized and managed everything for guys for, from Portugal. Mm -hmm. And where did you find the, the information? Uh, a friend of mine told me about Baltic Aviation. He was, was looking for a line training program at Baltic Aviation. But um, he told me that uh, you guys uh, are, are organizing the first uh, Airbus type ratings over here with the full flight simulator. Uh, I send an email, maybe two, three hours later I get a response from Osra. Uh, after that, five minutes after, I decided to make a phone call. Uh, I remember pho uh, making the phone call to Osra and Osra was uh, very nice, very nice to, to me. Uh, gave all the right answers that I was looking for. And so I decided. These guys are really good for us. They, they give me the right answers that I was looking for. They're being honest. So I decided let's, let's stick with them. It's, it looks really good proposal. Um, the people were really nice to us since day one. It's just, since the first email and the first contact. So it was a good, it was a good challenge. So I decided to, to stick with Baltica since, since, since that day. And uh, it turned out a good, good experience. So now share your experience about the training process. Uh, the training process, the purpose was, uh, it was really good. I uh, really enjoy being here. Uh, the ground staff, the flight instructors, the ground instructors was, was the best. And uh, I felt the, um, I felt that the, the instructors were the best that, that you can find in Lithuania or in the Baltic part of, of Europe. Um, I really enjoy it. The instructors are amazing guys, quite experienced guys, and I really enjoy it. It was really fun and professionals. Uh, could you compare um, aviation trainings uh, in Lithuania and uh, in Portugal? Almost the same, I will say. Uh, you know, Joint Aviation Authority regulates that the trainings must be almost the same in each country from, from the community. but. Um, well, here I felt more warm uh, because the people here, the staff were really great to us all the time, really nice, always asking if we are okay, what our needs, and really focus on our our staying here, our uh, the way we we react with the situations, the way we felt with Baltica, the way we felt with Lithuania. They are always concerned about us, and that's. I think that's the best part, uh, doing our training here in Baltic Aviation. Uh, I think in Portugal they, they won't treat us that, that good. But the training is almost the same, I would say, yeah. So it's great that you enjoyed Baltic Aviation Academy, yeah, but uh, what about Lithuania? About Lithuania? Did you uh, like this country? Yes, uh, I only stay in Vilnius and 
Rudinin Druskininski, sorry. Uh, I went to Druskininski for skiing, it was really fun. And Vilnius is a really nice city, cozy city, small city, but really nice. And um, what about Lithuanian people? Oh, the Lithuanian girls, awesome. <laughs> really nice, no, but I'll say the Lithuanian people at all. Uh, it's uh, really nice people, really warm, warmful. I wouldn't I have no idea about Lithuania at all. Since the first call I met uh, Osra in the telephone, I thought it would, it would be a great time here because uh, since they, they won with the first contact, uh, they've been very warmful to me. And since our arrival here in Lithuania, the people were very warmful. And it's, it was quite, quite, a, quite, a, quite nice. Uh, I really enjoyed it. People are really good here. So, any tips for people searching for aviation training from your side would be? Uh, here in Baltica? Or Everywhere. at all? Okay. Yeah, if, if it's your dream, you should chase your dreams. Yes, it's best. Uh, and if you wanted to get a good, um, a good training, you should come to here. It's, uh, well, I really enjoyed my training here. I felt a good professional. Uh, only one month experience, but I really felt really good. And I think that if you want to become a pilot, you, you, should, you should follow your dream. Well, the aviation uh, right now, it's, it's not on the best shape, but uh, well, you shouldn't worry about that. If you're good and you're professional, you, you get a job for sure. Yeah. So thanks a lot. I yeah, wish you welcome. good luck and bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>